a thread by Carlos Osuida. Professional victim Peter Morley keeps tweeting this. Stuck at 124 retweets. Peter Morley tweets, there are 6,600 members in attendance at the Tulsa flop Saturday. John Bowser Bauman composed, good night, Donald Trump. It's time to go. Will you help me get this to over 6,600 retweets? More than in attendance at the rally. Do you think we can do this? And go. Stuck at 124 retweets. Couple of points. Before Peter runs to Twitter to report me for being mean to him, I'll list my own chronic illnesses. Meniere's disease, incurable, osteoarthritis of the spine, untreatable, severe PTSD, severe depression, severe anxiety disorder, loss of vision from pseudotumor cerebri, untreatable, glaucoma, advancing, missing left gastrocnemius muscle, left calf, birth defect, dysgraphia, untreatable, trying living with attacks of rotational vertigo, Peter. You don't see me going out begging for pity and attention. As for Tulsa, guess what? That rally drew more people than every single Hillary Clinton rally except for one. Donald Trump got 6,600 people during a pandemic, under a state of civic emergency, during a period of nationwide urban terrorism, and with the press telling everyone that they were going to die. The biggest rally Hillary ever had was 10,000 people. Check this out. Some analysts believe that, contrary to Trump's persistent assertion that there's a silent majority in the United States who want him to win, the opposite may be true, and that could explain at least some of the low numbers at Clinton rallies. Of course. Makes sense, doesn't it? Hillary's low rally attendance is a sign that the majority of the country supports her. Those are sharp sharpies, those analysts. It's five months out from the election. The Democrats don't even have a nominee, but Trump has already lost. You are aware, Peter, that after the total shutdown of the economy, there was no recession. That's why none of the gore crows are talking about the economy. What is the press reduced to? Tulsa. Trump's doomed. You bet. He prevented a recession predicted to last for decades, but that rally proves he's done for. Social media gives people brain rot. Trump hate is a cult. My brother is in a political cult, crazier than the cult of Trump hate. Here's how he converses. Trump caused X. Uh, well, look at this CDC announcement. Trump caused nothing. Trump caused Y. Uh, Nancy Pelosi said he didn't. Look, Trump caused Z. The cult of Trump hate in a nutshell. Okay, a JK Rowling these days video, link in the description. And my brother is gay. He loves Trump. My cult brother called my gay brother to unload on Trump and my gay brother for the first time ever unloaded on my cult brother, scorched him into a heap of smoldering poo and humiliation. My cult brother had abused my other brother for years. I knew my brother was gay when he was seven years old. I didn't know what gay was, but I knew he was different. He only came out to me about two months ago. I've known that your whole life, I said. Well, good, he answered, and that was that. When we talk now, he just says everything on his mind. We don't tippy toe around topics because there's no need to. Oh, and being harassed, Peter. <laughs> we lived in Tyler, Texas from 1972 to 1975. Worst period of my life. You were insulted back in the 80s. When I was 10, I realized that I'd have to commit suicide. I got the crap beat out of me every single day. Finally, a kid intervened and saved my life. But I got bullied even in college. Who gets bullied in college? Me, that's who. I did the whole alcoholism and drug addict routine, but I kicked it all in one day. Here's the difference between you and me, Peter. I've experienced depths that you can't even comprehend, but I always knew that there was a chance, however remote, that things might get better. A psychiatrist and a hospice chaplain told me independently that I was the strongest person they'd ever met. 
It's because I was always ready to accept something better. I didn't wallow in victimhood. If you and I played victim poker, I'd clean you out. It took me 55 years to find my balance. Guess who made my dreams of a repaired world come true? Trump. Every day I race to my computer to see what else he's fixed while you glory in your sanctified suffering. Of course you hate him. He represents all that's good in the human spirit. You represent what's bad. I don't feel sorry for you. Negativity is a choice. Hate is a choice. I'll leave you with my motto. Life is not a matter of holding good cards, but of playing a poor hand well. Robert Louis Stevenson.